Hi, Gary Bunnell here. Getting a lot of questions. I love it. Um, the big one that's coming up right now is, do we humans have free will? Or are we simply unfolding a scripted reality that is there and there's nothing we can do about it except going along with the play? We have free will, especially when we understand what we are as a threefold mind, a body, a spirit, and a soul. We have free will as we, the more free will, as we expand our spirit awareness into soul consciousness. So our body's instinctual intelligence, it's, it's ancestral intelligence, the spirit's strategic intelligence, that is this wonderfully intuitive uh, collaboration. And then our eternal soul witnessing all of that. So we have free will if we're not on automatic pilot. And what I mean by that, when you're a little baby, you're seeing everything as it is. It's this, this incredible energy that, that comes together in waves and, and streams. And you're, when, when you're first here and you're seeing your parent, you don't see their surface as much as you see their energy. Then as we progress, we start to crawl, things begin to take a very solid shape. And then as we start learning, don't do this, do that, uh, this is right, this is wrong, one plus one equals two, we start contracting down into a consensual format. And that reality uh, is consensually, consensually plays out. So, the, the eternal soul sees everything as simultaneous. When the eternal soul comes in, and joins with another soul, they create what is known as oversoul. Oversouls are what generate the timelines. And almost always in every new timeline, there is another spirit, a different spirit, collaborating with that soul. The soul is, is finding information about how a body and a spirit uh, work together. And so when that soul now goes to another system, it can influence the life forms in that other system with that data. We have free will. The more we expand spirit awareness into soul consciousness, then that's when we begin to, to truly gain free will. We still live within a consensual reality. We have established that uh, from crawling to toddler to, you know, familial relations, then our friendships, then our culture. So this consensual relationship with Gaia's reality is a manifestation of Gaia's mind. Our bodies and our spirits are manifested out of Gaia's mind. The eternal soul is a particle from the mind of creator. So everything is mind. And as you begin to know what you are as this threefold mind, then you can begin to exercise free will. Until then, you're kind of on automatic pilot with, with your biases, your prejudices, your uh, learned judgments, um, you're, you're on automatic pilot with all of that. That, those biases and, and prejudices create, create inner conflicts, and those inner conflicts surface as judgments, and the eternal soul is non-judgmental. So as you expand your spirit awareness into to eternal soul consciousness, you begin to, to experience reality from that non-judgmental point of view. Now, that's when you have free will. 
the, the oversouls in each timeline do put in immutable events, events that you will go through. How you respond to those events, how you work with the outcome, or the event determines the outcome. The event is going to be there. The outcome is really up to you. And that's where your free will comes in. But if you're on automatic pilot, you don't have much of a free will. So yes, all of these timelines are simultaneous. They're already planned out. They have immutable events. But that's not a script that you have to go line by line, precept upon precept through. It, it's, it's a script that allows you to, in each timeline, each spirit, is allowed through that script to gain self-realization and then enlightenment and then the opportunity to step off the wheel of birth and death uh, through an ascension process. So yes, you do have free will and everything is mind. Your threefold mind is the expression of creator and a uh, creator God and Gaia and it's a mind, and everything you experience is mind. Everything. When you're a toddler, when you're a little baby, you see everything as it really is. It's flowing energy. Um, as you start to crawl, that energy takes on a stronger definition of boundaries. As you stand up and walk, as you learn right from wrong, as you um, gain familial biases and prejudices and cultural boundaries, then, then you're locking in a consensual reality. And yes, immutable events are there and your culture will determine how you respond to those and then what those outcomes would be. So we're really, we're, we're really amazing beings, especially when we wake up when we attain to self-realization and enlightenment, then we are really incredible in our process of life. We, we can look beyond the solid surfaces and, and see what's there. We can, can look beyond and, and see what's ahead in the timeline through the immutable events that are placed there. Oftentimes, because of our judgments, our biases and our prejudices, those, that, those inner conflicts really create the outcomes as opposed to our true self. Our true self would, would have a very different life and oftentimes the intention we have and the outcome we get are different because those inner conflicts that are born of that judgment of bias and prejudice those really come back to us. We radiate out the intent. What comes back to us looks like all of that stuff, all of the judgments, all of the conflict. You know, like, uh, oh, I want to win the lottery and have a lot of wealth, and, but I hate managing money. Just that little conflict will keep you in a, in a very different place. And, and I use that lottery thing um, very lightly, sorry. Uh, but, you know, it's like, I love to work, I hate my job. That conflict is going to create that job to not be what you want. And, and it's going to create that sense that you really, you know, why am I working so hard? Look at what's happening. So, the book The Secret um, pointed out a lot of stuff but it didn't give you the secret. And the secret is, get rid of your inner conflicts. Drop judgment. Drop your biases and prejudice. Behave like an eternal soul. Behave as though you are in that space. Non-judgmental, observer. Then your intention and outcomes become exactly the same. So yeah, we have free will. Yeah, we do and everything is mind. Everything is mind. Thanks. Yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, 
I look forward to connecting with you again uh, as soon as we can. Thanks.